Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today I'm going to show you a really cool and creative way of organizing your lipstick drawer. And I'm going to do that by recycling some old cardboard boxes, just like these, and make my lipstick drawer look like this. Okay, if this is something that you can use, then enjoy this uh, video tutorial, and um, here's how. Okay, begin by breaking down a box and laying them down on your work surface, and make sure it's a stiff box, just like this one, and we're going to work on the back side so that we can see what we're doing. So what you need to do is draw in two uh, rectangles and uh, this one is going to measure five inches long by two and a half inches tall and then place your ruler on the top and just line that um, with the width of the ruler. Okay, so your next rectangle is going to be shorter and it's just going to measure three and a half inches long by two and a half inches tall. And the same thing, just guide your ruler and just align the width of the ruler on the top portion. Okay, and next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the rectangles and just cut it on the outside lines. And you need to cut three of the long ones and five of the short ones. Okay, after you cut them, it should look like this. And we're going to mark our ruler again on the top portion. And on the short one, check the bottom half. And on the long one, you're going to check the top portion, which is the same width as the ruler. Okay, and then place your ruler at the edge and measure three quarters of an inch. And then line that with a felt tip pen, a wide one, a Sharpie's perfect. And then from the edge of the thick line, measure again three quarters of an inch. And again, use your Sharpie to line that. And just keep doing that all the way to the end of the board. Okay, and it should look like this with all the lines all drawn in. And make sure that each of the spaces between the line is exactly three quarters of an inch. Okay, when you get to the end, just like this, just cut out the excess. And just make sure to cut on the inside line, inside of the thick line. Okay, now using a drafting stencil, we're going to use a medium triangle and center that in a th on a thick line. And then just with a pencil, just mark the triangle. And just uh, do it on every line, just making sure to center it. And on the ends, just go ahead and use half of the triangle and just mark half of the triangle right on the edge. All right, and then flip the board around, do the same exact thing on the bottom. And you can also uh, do this freehand, just like this. Okay, the next step is easy. Just cut out, using your scissors, the triangles that you have marked. Just like so. Okay, once you cut out the triangles, your board should look like this. It looks like it has notches in them. So um, this one is the one that we marked on the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut some slits all the way to the line and we're going to cut out using our scissors and we're just going to cut out the outer edges of the thick line. Okay, so after cutting out the slits, your board should look like this. So if you cut out the thick line, you're going to get these spaces in between. Now do the same thing to the smaller rectangles, but remember you mark that one on the bottom, so you make the slits on the bottom part. Okay, next we're going to use a soda box and we're going to create a wall. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to simply place a ruler and line the whole width of the ruler and the whole length of the ruler. And you need to make two of these. Just like that. And once you line it, just use your scissors to cut them out. Okay, once you cut out the two strips, we're going to work on the first one. And you wanted to place this, the short 
piece right at the end edge and then where that small piece ends just fold to score and then bend and press and that will create a nice sharp corner okay and then move on to the longer piece and place that right in that sharp corner and then where it ends just bend the strip to score and just allow about half an inch of extra board right in the end all right and do the same to the other okay and using a double-sided tape just attach the ends together so you create a triangular wall just like this okay now we're ready to assemble and starting with the long piece and a short piece we just wanted to slip the notches starting at the end and make sure the short ones the notches are downwards and the long ones are upwards and we're just going to do that to the other two long ones and it's easier to do the ends first just like that and then add the middle one just like so and then we're going to add the other end with another small piece or shorter piece and the same thing just slip it in just like so and the rest is easy you just basically put in the rest of the shorter pieces in just like that and voila there you go you have a compartment that looks like a honeycomb okay once you finish assembling it and um, you can actually travel with this look it folds flat just like this it's great for makeup artists and what we're going to do now is we're just going to place that right in that little wall that we created just like so okay now just load up your favorite lipsticks and lip glosses and uh, if you're if you prefer you can put it upside down so you can see the colors just like this and do the same thing with the lip glosses now just stack a bunch of these in your drawers and you're all set hey everyone so hopefully that's something that's going to be useful for you guys and it's going to be great thinking about how organized your lipstick collection are and at the same time thinking about um, saving the planet as well so uh, it's such a great feeling anyway until next time bye